Hey, Blender Bob here. Guess what? We just reached our first 1,000 subscribers. I say we because there's something we do together. If I did it by myself and nobody subscribed, well, what would be the point of making videos? And uh, to celebrate this, YouTube sent me this absolutely stunning piece of art. <laughs> and now, you know, this motivates me to do more videos. And you know what? Blender Guru, I'm going after you. I want to have more subscribers than you do, and for that, I only need 1.41 million subscribers! 1.41 million subscribers! Wait, God! What? Why is that such a big deal? How can I get so many of them? 1.41 million subscribers! Blender Guru, how am I gonna generate so many subscribers? It can be done! Can't! Bob! Bob! All we need is 1.4 million subscribers. I'm sure that in 2030, I will be able to do it. Maybe 2025. But in 2020, it's a little bit hard to come by. That can only mean that Blender Guru is from the future. Okay, so it's gonna take a while. Okay, let's move on. I'm working on this really crazy tutorial for you, but I cannot release it because the movie hasn't been released yet. I'm taking some parts from a movie and, uh, well, I have to wait. It's going to be at the end of September or something like this. And you will see, it's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to do a quick one today. It's going to be about changing the color of the specular in Blender, which is not something you can do by default. And it's driving me crazy. You can do it in other renderers, but not in Blender. But there's always a workaround, a, ro a workaround, a workaround, another way to do it. And I'm going to show you how. The idea comes from a movie I worked on in, I don't know, 20 years ago called Pushington, and we had some CG planes in there, and there was a white plane, and in compositing, the, the, you could see the specular that was going on the side of the plane was like flickering, and it was white with a little orange glow around it, because white specular on white, eh, not that interesting, but this made it, made it look so realistic, and there was a sunset, and it, it really, really brought more realism to the, uh, to the shot. So I'm gonna show you how we can do this in Blender. So this is what we're trying to achieve here, this beautiful specular here. This is what you get in Blender by default. You can see the specular is white. There is something called specular tint, but this is not to add a color to the specular. It's only to add the color from the base color. If I move the slider, you can see that the specular becomes green because this is the color of the base color. If I do try to plug a color in it, you can see that it does absolutely nothing for the specular. It only takes the luminance value and apply it to the specular tint. If I apply a checker texture, you can see the effect it does on the specular tint. This is how we're gonna fix it. We're gonna take our basic shader and we're gonna create another one that we'll use only to create our orange specular that we need. And then we just need to mix the shaders together and voila, here you go. You get this nice little orange specular around. Now you can make another one if you want, if you want more control, one like a jewel color. This one here, I will put a color. It looks like it's black, but it's not. You need to make it very, very dark if you don't want to color the entire surface. So I'll make it white and move it down a lot just to get what I want for the sun. Make sure it's not at zero. And you can change the roughness to get it smaller if you want. Then you can mix them together and then you plug it back with the other one. You see, now you get a nice sun here, bright white and you connect it back here, and here you go. Now you have more control. I could change the color of the sun, the middle part, and I could make it like blue, for example, and I will get a blue sun. See, it's tinted blue. You can see it works. I have, it looks like I have two suns here. One is from the HDRI, and the other one is a directional light, so it works on both, which is pretty cool. There's another way we can do it. It's using two glossy shaders that we add together and then we do a mix shader and we can combine them. But I think the other one gives you more control. But then again, you have to try it because EV doesn't react the same way as cycles. Because you're mixing a dark shader with a bright one, you may lose some luminosity. So what you have to do is boost the value here. And you know, it goes from zero to one, but there's nothing stopping you from making it higher. So you can compensate this way. Of course, if you go too much, then you're gonna start losing the effect. You can always try to, you know, adjust it a little bit with the mix shader to try to get it back. It's a little bit tricky, but there's always a way to do it. 
Look how cool it works on a dark shader. It's so beautiful, it's awesome. Now this is the regular principal shader and this is what it looks like with the other shader and you can see it changes everything, not just the highlight where the sun is, but the entire body of the car. It makes it look so much better, it gives it so much more depth and color and it's much better. Here I decided to have a little bit fun with it. I started with a black shader and I added a first specular that is blue, another one that is red, I combined them together, and then a third one that is yellow. So I got three different colors of specular and that gives it this kind of iridescence shader on it. It happens sometimes that these uh, crazy expensive cars have the special paint like this that reflects different colors uh, depending on the angle. This is called iridescence, and in Blender we don't have a real iridescent shader, I hope they will add one uh, eventually because it's really useful, and it's also useful for bugs. Uh, some bugs have different colors depending on the orientation, they will change the reflections, the color the specular will change depending on the angle. Hey, this is me and my Lamborghini! Yeah, I wish. So what do you think? You got a better way to do it? Please tell me in the comment, I would love to hear about it. And uh, that's it for today! I will see you soon. Okay, come on. Blender Guru, between you and I, 1.41 million subscribers. Do you really need that many? No, you don't. It's too much. You cannot answer everybody. You cannot take care of them. It's, just, it's too big. So why don't you just, you know, spare a few. Just, just give me like a few hundred thousand on my side. So, you know, I will take good care of them. I, I will show them a lot of crazy cool stuff. And, and I'm sure they will still follow you. They will be very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. I, I'm waiting. Just send a few. All right? Cool. Thank you. Hey.